So apparently, Major League Baseball has become the latest company to start outsourcing our jobs to India. Typical. Million Dollar Arm stars John Hamm is a struggling sports agent whose idea to stage a contest to find baseball talent in India turns out to bring him more than he bargained for both professionally and personally. It's another venture into heartfelt sports story land by Disney who appears to have this type of movie down to a science by this point. Brought to you by the same folks who brought us The Rookie and Miracle, it's clear they're following a pretty well defined pattern by this point. And really, why not? I mean, it works. One of the reasons for this, in fact, maybe the primary reason, is that they're actually true stories. Though I'm sure some of the details are tweaked for dramatic purposes, you still get the sense that they honor the essence of what made the story so powerful in the first place. By the time the credits roll and you see the real life participants in photos and video, you already feel like you know them and it brings home the emotion in a really deep way. Of course, that emotion would be pointless if you didn't connect with these stories. And that's the other part Disney just keeps getting right, the human aspect. Though on the surface, these movies are about interesting sports stories. At their core, they're really about the way we treat each other as human beings. As our lead character comes to grips with the way he treats people, we come to understand something really valuable about ourselves as well. And if all that sounds a little too schmaltzy for you, well, maybe it is. But there still might be enough humor to draw you in anyway. Not to mention the actual ins and outs of this story are pretty compelling themselves. Of course, it's hard to go wrong when you have Alan Arkin and Bill Paxton giving such great supporting performances. And their contributions are certainly a large role in the reason this movie works. But my favorite thing about the movie? I actually would say it's the music. I loved it. The Indian slash Bollywood feel to this soundtrack is one of my favorites of the year and comes at just the right time because I've really been overplaying the Frozen soundtrack and it's time to, yes, let it go. So this will give me something else to play anyway. So what doesn't work about Million Dollar Arm? Well, I already mentioned that this formulaic approach might feel tired or syrupy to, to many people, but even more than that, it gives the whole endeavor a TV movie feel as opposed to the big screen. There's just a limited nature to the scope of a movie like this that makes this an easy one to miss in theaters and maybe instead pick it up when it finally hits Redbox here in a couple months. Honestly, maybe some of that is John Hamm, who though not awful by any stretch, gives a very basic performance that would feel right at home on the small screen. Another thing that drags it down a bit, and let's tag it as the worst thing, is that the cookie cutter nature of the formula makes for an experience with very few surprises. We know exactly where the plot is going, and we're never shocked to see it get there. Overall, Million Dollar Arm is a predictable and formulaic movie from Disney. But at the end of the day, just because you know what pitch is coming, doesn't mean it doesn't get the job done. Some fun performances and a real insight into our shared humanity, along with a genuinely interesting true story. Zoom this one right over the center of the plate for a B plus. Thanks for checking out this Your Movie Friend review. You can stay tuned for this review's best ever challenge here in a bit. But first, I want to throw some stuff up over here you can click on. If you'd like to subscribe, which I'd very much appreciate, you can do that by clicking the big gray subscribe button. Want to see more? I also took a look at Godzilla, which you can check out at the link over here. You can also click the logo right up here to go to the all new yourmoviefriend.com where you can search by title for reviews. And finally, this review's best ever challenge. This is where you name the best movie ever in a particular category and also try to identify what my choice is. What is the best fish out of water movie ever? My choice fits the theme both figuratively and literally. Drop your own answer and a guess at mine in the comments and the first person to guess mine does get a point. Thanks and please subscribe.